Have you guys ever heard of a card game that you can play with by yourself? And that just so happens to be how I am most of the time? This is Conversations with Your Inner Self. Not only is it an awesome card game to play, it's very meaningful. I know a lot of people here on TikTok like to go live. If you would like meaningful conversation with your followers and your viewers, these are perfect. You will never run out of conversation and meaningful questions to ask that will help you connect with your inner self and their inner self. If it's Friday night, Saturday night, and you and your partner are tired of staring at your cell phone or watching TV and you want to get to know them as a person deep down, not just like, what's your favorite color? These questions are perfect for really getting to know who they are deep down. You guys could go back and forth asking each other these things and really get to know somebody. These would be great for somebody who likes to journal because it asks very like personal questions. And if you write this down and answer them, I believe that, you know, if you pass away, the only thing that's going to be remembered about you is stories people are willing to tell. When they pass away, you'll be forgotten in history. So if you write down things, not only will people get to know some things that you might have done, but they'll get to know you personally, your kids, your grandkids. If your grandkids ever look back and go, I really want to know what she was like, that's perfect for this. For people like me who are on a journey to constantly bettering themselves, whether it's physically, emotionally, spiritually, to finding self-love and the meaning of things, I think that these questions are very beneficial and they help you go on a journey of experiencing and learning about yourself and maybe looking into things as to why that you might not have paid attention to before. Something I've learned off my journey is that when you go to forgive somebody for hurting you, you have to also remember to forgive yourself. Even though it was not your fault at all, deep down you're probably still blaming yourself for putting yourself in a situation where someone could hurt you. And once you've learned that you need to forgive yourself also, there's a thousand pounds of weight off your shoulders. Part one is identifying and part two is integrating. So I'm going to read you some examples from part one, identifying. Family, how can you break the negative behavioral chains that run through your family? Inner teen, what do you wish someone would have told you as a teenager? Do you prefer change or do you avoid it? Why? Stopping freedom. What is stopping you from experiencing freedom? Now I'm going to read you some examples from part two, integrating. Forgiveness. What do you need to forgive yourself for? Inner critic. What does your inner critic most often say to you? What evidence can you find to combat your inner critic? Power. What does living in your living to your fullest potential and power look like to you? Barriers. What emotional barriers do you use to prevent people from getting close to you? And look how many powerful questions are left. If y'all are interested in this, click the link below.